<clears throat> All right, so what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, it's the Aegis Max. The Aegis series of mods from Geek Vape is arguably one of, if not the most popular series of mods, certainly from Geek Vape, maybe, maybe in the whole industry. And honestly, like what's not to love about them? It's shockproof, waterproof, dustproof, it's big, it's beefy, they have clicky buttons. And now this is the first Aegis mod to run a single 21 700 battery on the inside. To access your battery, you're gonna flip this little notch out right here, which it's firm, it's very firm. Firm. These Aegis mods are designed to be, I like to just say beefy. You know, they're just designed to be beefy. So pulling this little tab out, oh, it, it's firm, it's stiff, and it has not loosened up over the whole time I've been using it. It remains stiff. Unscrew this, which again, there's O-rings in there for that waterproofness. It's just stiff. Just take some, some elbow grease to get that open. I've just been using these Galisi 21700 batteries and they've been working awesome in this. When I'm tightening this back down, I really do like to tighten it as, as tight as it will go. I, wanna, I want this to contribute to the dust proof and the waterproofness. Flip that back down, it's five five on five off one two three four five Boo, geek vape, yeah. There's the, the typical Aegis screen that we all know, that we all seen. They've been using this for a while now. It's not anything super fancy or pretty, but it's gonna show you everything that you need to know on there. This right here is the Geek Vape Aegis Boost Plus, and I haven't done a review for this quite yet. It's coming up really, really soon, but I don't know why they didn't just use this screen on this device. The Boost Plus has a much nicer, prettier, full color display Display. I'm not necessarily saying that that's a con. I'm just saying that ah, the screen just feels and looks a little bit outdated here in 2020. This kit comes with the Zeus mesh sub ohm tank as well. I have the 0.2 ohm resistance coil head in here. It's reading 0.2 on the button. On the button? Sure, on the nose. I'm a guy that likes to get a long life out of my coil head, so I have the tendency to turn my wattage down. So I'm only running this 0.2 ohm coil head about 55 watts. Still very nice, still very enjoyable. I like this sub ohm tank with the airflow closed down a little more than halfway. It's a top airflow, so you can open this all the way up and just get a ton of airflow. But I turn mine down, yeah, about like that. Full open is great, you know, it's still a lot of big, smooth, swooshy airflow. Just for me personally, it's it's a bit much, you know, it's a bit much. I need to have some resistance in my airflow. Not necessarily like a restricted lung hit, just I need some restriction. It can't just be crazy wide open like this. Monster, monster airflow. Just turn it down just a little bit. Me personally, I get a much better experience from it. The Zeus mesh sub ohm tank has that really nice, just one little twist, opens up to reveal some big kidney shaped juice fill holes in there. And the way this tank is designed, it's a little bit of a tight fit getting your little, little bottle tip in there. Even with this small bottle tip, I have to kind of press it down in there to fill it up. The great thing about this is I can't show you this right now, but you can fill it up a little bit past where you think you need to. The locking mechanism on here just leaves a little trough right there. And if you wanna get a little, maybe an extra half a mil of liquid in this tank, you can go past that little trough and it doesn't impede when you close the, when you clip the top down like that. It doesn't squish out or leak anywhere. For a single strip of mesh coil head, it's honestly a real nice flavorful vape. This sub ohm tank, it's 25 millimeters in diameter and you can see there's a lot of extra space on there. I'm willing to bet that you could easily, easily fit a 30 millimeter atomizer on the top of this Geek Vape Aegis, no problem. No problem at all. That's the TM30, fits on there flawlessly and there's even some room to spare with that rubber that goes around the edge of it. The mod itself is great. It's an Aegis, it's built to last. Dustproof, waterproof, shockproof. 
roof. Nice clicky buttons, nice clicky fire button, clicky up down buttons. Does only adjust in 0.1 watt increments, which eh, kind of annoys me, but at the end of the day, isn't, I mean, definitely isn't a deal breaker. Otherwise, it's slick. It feels real nice in the hand. It's got that Aegis sort of puffy fake leather that's just a little bit squishy with like the stitching down the front. It's a single 21700 and it feels big. That's just the Geek Vape Aegis series. They just feel big. Even the dual 18650 Aegis feels bigger than other 18650, dual 18650 devices. And this one's no different. It's only a single 21700, but it feels a little bit more substantial in your hand. With that said, it's really, really ergonomic. I'm a guy that likes to hit the fire button with my finger right here, my trigger finger, but with this, I find myself just wrap my fingers around that leather right there, hit it with my thumb. It's awesome. There's not much that I'm gonna be able to fault this on really at all. If I had to do some cons on this, which I don't really have to, but I will. The airflow on the Zeus mesh sub-ohm tank feels weird to me. It doesn't feel like any other sub-ohm tank I've used. The only way I can describe this airflow is hollow. It just feels hollow to me, which I realize isn't a very good descriptor. I think it's just because there's so much airflow and it has to travel so far. It's going in and down these big tubes right to your coil head. I think that's causing the airflow to feel a little feel a little hollow to me. Another slight gripe, I guess, is this little tab on the bottom, it's real firm and it has not loosened up over time, like I said, and it takes effort. I have to get in there with my thumbnail oh, and kind of really press it open if I wanna change the battery and oh, really push it closed. Alternatively, you can charge it with a little micro USB connection in here. This micro USB is really, really recessed down in there. I mean, really recessed down in there. I get it that it kind of has to be for the dust proofness of it, but still doesn't keep it from being a little bit annoying. But other than those few small gripes, shit, there's really nothing you can fault this for. I love that this kit comes with a sub-ohm tank. I love that this kit is just a regular mod with a 510 connection on there because this mod is going to outlast this tank. When I'm bored of this Geek Vape Zeus sub-ohm tank, I will definitely be using lots of other toppers, tanks, and RDAs on this. And I love that if any, you know, anybody can buy this as their first kit and there's a lot of room to grow. And you get a really good sub-ohm tank in with this kit. All you need is a 21700 and some juice. Fuck, you're good to go. So vape budget hands. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Geek Vape AGS Max? Uh, maybe a little bit. Clicking around the internet, I can seem to find it anywhere from like 60 to $70 for the kit. You're getting a lot for your money, but that still is, I don't know, I feel that's pretty firmly in vape budget hands territory. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, I have nothing left to vape. Is the Geek Vape Aegis Max kit something I'm gonna seek out and buy right away? I mean, yeah, definitely. In fact, I might go so far as to say that this could be like the first thing. If I had nothing to vape, this could be the first thing I seek out and buy. Waterproof, dustproof, shockproof, single 21 700 battery comes with a very great sub-ohm tank. You can just get this liquid and a battery. You'll be vaping right away. No need to build, no need to wick, no need to do much of any fiddling at all. So yeah, I'm a fan. The Geek Vape Aegis series is popular for a reason. They're popular because they're great. Anyway, it is what it is. There it is, the Geek Vape Aegis Max. So nice and ergonomic. Links are not allowed in the description anymore. Thank you so much, YouTube. So you're gonna have to get out there and use your Google Foo. But thank you guys, seriously, so much for watching. And remember, no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is at least 95% less harmful than burning combustible tobacco cigarettes. So yeah, absolutely guys, let's keep on vaping. Not necessarily like a restricted long air, long air?